Yeah. Are you ready for some country? Are you ready for some country? Yeah. yeah all right. Hey, are you ready for some country? Hey, are you ready for me? You ready for me? Yeah. How you ready for some country? And I sight to see. <laughs> If you were ready for the country, Lord, you got ready for me. I was slipping in a sliding, wearing down the nose. I was slipping in a riding, and ain't no crowd, you know. But I gotta tell my story, for it's time to go. Well, the shoe shine boy will never get rolled down. He got the dirtiest job in town. And the low of the people's feet on the windy corner of the dirty street. Well, I asked him what a shine shoe, how to keep from getting the blues. Smiling with his little head, he popped the shoe shine rag and he said, Get rid of him. You get the blues. Go on, get rid of him. Yeah, you get the blues. Kinds of defensive, I'm very sorry. Uh, it means you're probably not having bodily functions anymore. You might want to take your pulse to make sure you're still with us here. <laughs> it's called the day my daddy taught me how to pee. Now, everybody knows that has a little boy that you're going to have to see him later tell that little guy to pee in the toilet. It's something that's lost on many adult men as well, I can tell you that. Right? <laughs> A kid that's well taught, you don't have to keep teaching them all the time. Eh? Well, when I was just a lad, I was taken by my dad. And I couldn't have been more than two or three. They grabbed me by the hand, he said, Hey, get the can. Today I'm going to teach you how to pee. Well, what happened in that job between that father and his son? It'll always be a treasured memory. You see, I was just a talk. I learned an awful lot on the day my daddy taught me how to pee. He said, son, number one, you never pee into the wind. Number two, you shake it twice when you're through. You're twice. Most important, kid, always lift the lid. Cause your sister has to use it too. Oh yes she do. Your poor little sister's gonna have to use it too. In the dark recess of the mind, when you age before your time, the colors flash heavy on the lungs. Sing with me. It's a working night. And the other thing was that the bathroom was way down the other end of the hall. And you had some pretty rowdy guys going through there, and a lot of them were musicians, you know. Now, nobody in their right mind, always in the middle of the night, is going to take the trip all the way down that hall, right through. That, that sink was multi-purpose at least, you know, at least dual purpose. And you knew that coming in, so consequently you never ever washed your face in the thing, you know. You'd try and find a puddle to be cleaner, you know. But the one thing you knew was going to be clean in that room because it said so, right on the wrapper, it said, sanitize for your protection. And that was the glass, the water glass. The water glass, you knew that was pristine. That was a virginal glass just meant for you. It's been sanitized. So I made the mistake one time, no asking me. So they take these downstairs, do they, and put them through a machine, a special machine, sanitize them, put that wrapper back on and put them, bring them right back up. She says, no hell, we just wash them in the sink. <laughs> no, 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 really? <laughs> well, I love this song about those times. I heard them 
country song I know from the jukebox on the radio. Watching some old towns moving along the strings of a little guitar. Sitting, picking, find a good ride. I gotta play that song this Friday night. Trailer folks come waltzing through the barroom doors. The mean one, Mr. Grinch. You're the spider, there's a cactus, you're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a, a greasy black bean. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. You bring the school to spiders, you've got all the in your soul, Mr. Grinch. That same lady that was doing that test. Also, uh, she is one of the people who decides if you're going to be resuscitated or not. You know, if you're, uh, she does. She checks through the paperwork. Really nice lady. But you know, she was checking through my paperwork. I guess and I said, don't worry about it. I got do not resuscitate tattoo on my chest. She got real excited about that. Said everybody should have that. You know. Mm -hmm. oh, just talk my way and going faster here. Thank you so much for being with me tonight. My name is Barry Wayne and I'm going to see you back here next year. I'll have some new friends to have the moment here. Thank you.